Hello, I'm Eva from the Vector Support Team and today I'm going to show you how to migrate a hardware-based license to the new Vector license. Trigger for such a migration can be that you update your Vector software and in this course change the licensing technology from the legacy license model to the new Vector license model. We will do this with a Vector license client and store our new Vector license on the same network interface where the old license was. Here is a quick principle overview. Directly after that, you can follow the individual steps when I carry out this easy transaction. Additional to the elements of the new vector license model, we also look at the server of the legacy license model and the hardware-based license we want to migrate. For a migration, Vector sends you an activation key with a new Vector license. With this activation key, instead of just activating the new Vector license, you must first delete the legacy license identification from your device. At the same time, the license will be removed from the Vector server. This is reported back to your Vector license client and then allows the activation of the new Vector license that is referenced in the activation key. From here on, the procedure works like an activation of a completely new Vector license. And all this requires only a few clicks by you once you have connected your Vector hardware to the PC. After we started the Vector License Client, we click on Migrate Online. This opens another window. By clicking on License Bits, you can check that the hardware is connected and carries the license identification you want to migrate. Don't worry if you have some more hardware-based licenses on that device. Only the licenses you select later on will be affected by this migration. All other licenses will remain unchanged. If the right hardware is connected, load your activation key in the field and select the licenses you want to migrate. Click on Select and after you read that your licenses can be migrated, click Send Request. If you're sure, confirm the warning prompt with Yes. Now the legacy license identifications are removed and you get a confirmation window. You can now proceed with step 2 and activate the new vector license if you click yes. You could potentially also do this later or at a different computer. Select the licenses you want to activate. We do this with the Kinu 11 license and the option LIN. Please choose your target device. We want to place the license identifications where the old ones were before. Keep in mind that not all vector interfaces are compatible with the new vector license model. We select the VN6030A as our target and click Activate. To see if your hardware is suitable as a license carrier for the new Vector license model, check our hardware compatibility list on our Vector knowledge base. At the end of the process, these new Vector licenses have a green check mark in the Vector license client. You won't see them in the Vector hardware config anymore, that's ok. Migration is completed and you can continue working with your Vector software. To see which software versions are compatible with the new Vector license model, please check the software compatibility list on our Vector knowledge base. You will find this and other information about licensing at Vector, like FAQ answers and other tutorials, under kb.vector.com slash licensing.